Hey guys! So a little over a year ago, I made this video about AP Studio Art, one of the hardest classes I've ever been in, period. It is my top video on my YouTube channel right now, and a lot of you guys wanted to see my whole portfolio. I think it's cool that you guys need to see the portfolio as a whole. For my themed 12 artworks, I chose the theme of Japanese culture and history. So let's see what we have here. Ooh, this one is uh, an illustration of this Japanese folk tale called Isunboshi, or the One Inch Samurai. I tried to be really creative with, it, with this piece, with um, how he interacts with the world. So I have a little rice bowl and chopstick as his boat and oar. If you look really closely, his katana is actually a sewing needle. So this is one of my 3D um, artworks. The base is a colored pencil drawing, but then I use like origami paper to create this illusion of the kimono being 3D. Uh, this one was a painting I made inspired by Lolita Fashion. So I painted a um, like sweet and classical Lolita. This one I really had fun with because I got to try drawing manga. So we have like Naruto, Sailor Moon, Attack on Titan, Death Note, and they all are, are saying different languages because I wanted to show like how the anime and manga um, fandom is really diverse. This one you guys got to see in the first video. It's about Nintendo and mainly about Shigeru Miyamoto. He was the designer of Mario and a bunch of other characters. <laughs> and again, I did paint all of the pixels of Bowser. We have Link, um, the Wii Fit yoga teacher, um, and the Pikmin characters too. This one you guys also got to see in the first video. It was a watercolor piece I made of the monkeys that go into the hot springs in Japan. So I drew them with uh, Mount Fuji in the background. It's of my brother with a little pug. Uh, he really, really, really loves pugs. So I kind of made his like dream come true with this one. And I think the pug looks really cute and funny too. We dipped some watercolor paper in water, um, like crumbled it up to give this cool texture. And it really reminded me of Moon Craters, so I made um, the whole piece inspired by Japanese folklore of rabbits making mochi on the moon. This one is uh, about the story of the dog Hachiko. Even after his owner died, he would go to the train station and wait for him. He actually died waiting for his owner. I wanted to draw him with his owner again in heaven. I made this during winter break that year. Um, yeah, if you're an AP art student, breaks don't mean that you can stop. I think I was just really lazy when I made this piece, but this piece is about the robot Azimo. This one was my very, very first uh, painting that I made for this class. I think I gave it like my all because I was so excited to finally be in this class. Of course, like I missed the deadline as always but I really like how this came out. This one was a piece I made about um, like seafood. I took a bunch of fish and other types of animals to create the illusion of this portrait of a fisherman, uh, kind of like the Tsukiji market in Japan. I really recommend AP Studio Art. If you're in it right now, Good luck! It's really a lot of fun, even though it was really, really hard. 